All right, there's a little more brush extractor stuff to talk about. So let's hit the comma key, and I'm going to go up here to Dynamesh Sphere. We're just going to load that up, that project. And we'll go ahead and turn off our floor and turn off our perspective. And I'm going to hit Control D, let's say three times, just to get uh, enough resolution on here. I'm going to turn off, uh, tap X to turn off X symmetry. I'm going to go into Clay Tube, so B, C, T for Clay Tubes. I'm just going to kind of brush on here uh, some details. And then on top of this, I'm going to go ahead and take my standard brush. I'm just going to put on a couple, just a line of dots. Now, if I was to go in here to BXT right now and then hit G and try and capture these dots, it's going to capture the dots, but it's also going to capture the surrounding kind of sculpt. And also, it's going to be very, very deep. Uh, remember, it's going all the way back in history to this point and trying to extract alpha information from that. And again, that's by design because it allows us to do stuff like this, which is if I want to do a clean extraction of this without having to worry about what I sculpted before, all I got to have to do is go to the point before I put on those dots, but after I sculpted this, control tap that point in history, go back up, uh, go forward where you have those dots sculpted. So now what it's going to do when I do the extraction, the alpha is going to look at this point in history and the difference between that and this is just these dots I sculpted. That's the only thing that's happened between these two points. So now if I hit G and run it over those dots, it's only going to extract information from what I put there that's new, which is only one, two, three, the four dots I put in my history. So now when I do that, it grabbed a clean alpha with just the dots information. So if you're ever sculpting and you have like poor detail or anything uh, kind of messy underneath your alpha and you put an alpha or something you want to extract on top of that, go back to the point in history again before you made the dots, make a point, and then take that point in history of just what you've added that you want to extract, and then an extraction is going to ignore everything except for what you've added past that point in history.